Hello everyone and welcome back to our universe. Today we'll be talking about a second star in our solar system. So in our solar system we know of only one star, the Sun, of course. But our solar system is very unique because it only has one star. Most of the other solar systems have at least two stars and these are called binary systems. Some solar systems can have as many as six stars and they have been observed by astronomers. Some astronomers have actually proposed that the Sun has a partner and they've also theorized that it comes close enough to be seen once every 32 million years. The star is called Nemesis. They think that Nemesis lies beyond the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is a giant cloud of icy space debris and comets that surround the sun. This theory was actually put forward because of mass extinctions on the planet. And one of them is what kills the dinosaurs off 65 million years ago. And they say it occurs once every 32 million years. The same period in which Nemesis might actually be seen from Earth. The most common theory of why the dinosaurs died is a huge asteroid or comet colliding with the Earth. Theories actually propose that Nemesis may be disturbing the comets and debris in the Oort cloud, which sends a lot of the debris hurtling towards the inner planets and the Earth. In contrast, many geologists don't believe that mass extinctions happen periodically. There are a lot of arguments over whether the theory is actually correct. Astronomers believe that if Nemesis were actually to exist, it would be a red or brown dwarf. The search for Nemesis is complicated because our current technology can't really tell the difference between a brown and a red dwarf. And also it's very hard to find these very small stars from very far away. There are also thousands of different areas that could potentially contain stars that could be Nemesis. So the search is a pretty big one. So if we want to find Nemesis, it might take a long time. In 2012, nearly 2000 brown dwarfs were identified in areas of space near our solar system. But no one has actually found one of these brown dwarfs inside of our own solar system. So none of these stars identified are Nemesis. Two satellites tried to conduct an astronomical survey, one in the 1980s and one in 1997 to 2001, to search for this star. But both of them failed to detect an additional star in our solar system. No one has ever proven that Nemesis actually exists, so at the moment it remains purely theoretical. So for now, we can only say one thing with certainty, that our solar system is unique, because it only has one star, the Sun. So I hope that's given you a great insight into the theory that our Sun has a companion, the star Nemesis. And also, what do you think? Do you think Nemesis exists? Or do you think it's just simply a scientific dead end? Put it in the comments below and let me know. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button. And if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.